The future of crime. Let me try to summarize it in a few minutes. This is one of the strangest David Cronenberg films I've ever seen, and almost all his movies are strange, but this one starts off in the first few minutes, Weirdsville. Um, you got this kid eating a plastic garbage can in the bathroom uh, after the mother yells at him. He's on the beach scooping up dirt, and he comes in, he starts eating the garbage can. The mother takes him in the bedroom, then comes on top of him with a pillow and smothers him and kills him. Reports it to the father, tells him she's leaving. Father comes, finds the body, He's distraught, to say the least. The woman gets put in jail. Eventually, she confesses to the crime. And then uh, we find out later that this father wants to have the kid have an autopsy, a public autopsy. But what's going on is that in this day and age, in the future, apparently, it's never said at what point in the future it is. It looks pretty much like today, except grungy or worse. And all strange characters, very weird movie. And it's a time where this guy is a mutant or something. He can grow extra organs. They're like, if he doesn't have them removed, he might die. So they have these public uh, performance art exhibitions where this woman partner of his uses this weird device. It looks kind of like a brain or something. It lights up with colors. You massage it almost like a vagina. It's weird. And it's more like a brain and with a split open and the top kind of opens up and you finger it. And using that device, it causes these blades to come down and they do precise uh, surgical operating, cutting the guy open. And she goes in and takes out these organs or tumors or whatever they are, these aberrant, strange organs growing in his body. And it's called performance art. And other performance artists had to do things like they um, surgically attach ears to this guy's body, all up and down his back and his arms and his chest and his legs are ears and extra ears up here. <clears throat> And they do all these weird things in the future. And <clears throat> so in doing this performance art, this guy gets cold all the time, so he wears a big hood. But they meet other performance artists, and they talk about it, and these uh, people that do the surgeries, and they're not like real medical doctor surgeons, but they do these weird surgeries on people through with these machines, these weird-looking devices. And they sit in these chairs that look like skeletons or something. They got these weird, they're not human, but they look like an animal bone or something, like a weird human bone. It's kind of hard to describe. And they come out and they move them around in the chairs and jostle them and do things. It's just totally strange movie. They show bodies being cut to pieces. They cut them up in the future for pleasure. It's the new sex is surgery. And they have big knives and blades are just cutting people's legs open and their chests and everything and gashing their bodies. And uh, it's sort of sexual. The, the one scene, the woman is like performing oral sex on the guy's slit. He's got a sideways slit in his chest and his body's opening up, his organs are in there and all, she's licking it and tugging it. And it's just, it's super weird, super weird movie. And I lost my uh, phone in the movie theater and panicked. So the last 10 minutes, I spaced out and missed what was going on on the screen. I'll have to see the movie again, but maybe not for a while. I don't know, maybe I will with subtitles so I can understand what was going on. I got the gist of it, but it was so much dialogue I missed because I couldn't understand it. Um, there was no subtitles this time. And my hearing aids didn't help. It made it worse. When I took them out, I went up and sat close and cut my ears like this, and I could make out probably about 85, 90% of what they were saying. But I still missed a word here and there. And it's just, I don't know. I need subtitles. My hearing is that bad. And these hearing aids aren't that great. But the movie overall, I don't know. I don't know if I'd give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a kind of a... One of these, you know, it's kind of a borderline movie, weird movie, Weirdsville. I don't know really what the overall thing about it to recommend would be unless you like gruesome kind of gory movies. But there was no no uh, hateful violence. It wasn't like people trying to murder people or anything like that. It was just a, a kind of a sick, demented world that when people like cutting their own bodies open for pleasure. It's weird.